when me and my sister were taken to foster care. I think I was six or seven. We were always moving around, and every time we were to move, it was always a new person or a new family. I think that was the scariest part for me, always having the possibility of leaving and starting over again and again. I knew the whole time that we could potentially be adopted, but I didn't think it was a possibility because of my age. Me and my sister, we were the only family that we had left. So I've always known that I I wanted a large family. Um, my mom jokes that when I was 16, I was already ready for a minivan. We had the first few pretty close together. And uh, I don't know why when I got to child number five that I thought now is a good time to adopt, but I just felt it was something I wanted to do. So we put our paperwork in. And about six months later, I woke up and checked my email, and there was a letter from a social worker with a picture of these two kiddos. And they were sitting at a fair, but their smile seemed really forced. And when you open an email and you see these two children and they need a family, how do you say no to that? I think the moving in day was probably one of the most stressful. I believe we showed up with a bin of clothing, and that's about it. No pictures, no any attachment to my previous life. As the weeks progressed, I was really excited, and I got along with everyone. But every time I would see like baby photos around the house, I was a little jealous. Like, oh, I wish I had that. <laughs> I've always loved to laugh, and a sense of puber has always been a way for me to cope with things. Like, I remember one day we're all talking, joking around with each other, and then I said something about wanting baby photos. <laughs> and then my sister was jokingly around, said, we should do it now. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but wouldn't it be funny, though? And it was just like, OK, let's do this. The next day, Kelly, she <laughs> set up all her photography stuff. And then from there, we just basically did everything that she would have done at a newborn shoot, but with me. So I was just making weird poses and faces like I always do. <laughs> I remember the funniest one was when she just started taking pictures of my feet. <laughs> I think I was laughing, like, really, really hard during that one. So I made birth announcements, and I styled them in the same way that most newborn birth announcements would be, with their name and their, you know, birth date and their weight. <laughs> I really just thought, oh, this is just going to be a funny thing. I'm going to post it on the internet and just give a couple of people a laugh. I didn't really expect it to be as big as it was. So I posted them to Facebook. And the next morning, I realized something had happened. I was getting comments from everywhere. I think that people saw the humor in it, but the best response to me was from those who said they would consider adopting an older child because there are so many older children in foster care who need parents. And all children deserve that place to go back home. I look back on the photos and it it just makes me happy. It's something that I've always wanted. 
and I felt like I needed them to make myself feel like part of a family.